boys and girls of St. Lucie Public Schools. I am Miss Owens, the math coach at Longwood Elementary. And thank you guys for tuning in with me. In today's lesson, we are going to continue to work with fraction circles. We're going to take a look at how to share cookies when we have more people, but less cookies. So let's begin with um, your, in your workspace on page 27. How do you share three cookies with, I'm going to draw this a little bit larger guys. How do you share three cookies with four people? We can't just give everybody one this time. We have three cookies that we want to share with four people. We're gonna have to do some breaking apart with these cookies. And we know that the best way to share is to use equal sharing. If I take these three cookies and I separate each of them into four parts, I will have fourths. Do I still have three whole cookies? Yes, I do. Those whole cookies are now separated into fourths. Each cookie is separated into four fourths. So I have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths, nine fourths, ten fourths, eleven fourths, twelve fourths. I started out with three whole cookies and now I have twelve fourths. And they are equivalent. They may not look the same when you write it out like this, but I can take 12 fourths and put them back together like a puzzle and they will form three whole cookies. Are you with me? Good. So now that I'm looking at having 12 of something, regardless of the size that I'm sharing with four people, let me ask you a question. Can I share 12 of something with four people? Absolutely. Can I share three of something with four people? Kind of. If I take those three and I equally partition them into smaller pieces, absolutely. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can share three cookies with four people. This person gets a fourth. This person gets a fourth. This person gets a fourth. And now you get, whoops, we skipped someone. Can't do that, equal sharing. You get a fourth. So each person gets one fourth of each cookie. So how many fourths do you think each person will get? Because right now, we have already evenly shared the first cookie. You think each person is going to get how many fourths altogether? Nice prediction. Let's see. Now to share the second cookie. There's your fourth. There's your fourth. There's your fourth. And there's your fourth. Okay, maybe so. Maybe each person will have that many fourths. So we're done equally dividing that second cookie. 
Let's divide and share that last cookie. I gotta work on share like breaking up my cookies. Okay. So how many fourths did each person get? Three fourths. Each person gets three fourths. Each person gets three fourths. Did each person get one whole cookie? Absolutely not. Because we had four people, but only three cookies. We would have given each person one cookie. There would have been one person that didn't have anything. So we ended up taking the three cookies breaking them each into four equal size parts and then sharing those equal size parts with everyone until everyone had the same amount of equal size parts. Each person gets three fourths. Let's take a look at page 28 and 29 in your workspace workbook. Now we're gonna figure out how to share two cookies with four people. So here's my grid for my four people. And I only have two cookies. Can I give each person one cookie? No, I cannot. Why not? Why can't I give each person one cookie? Absolutely. Because I only have two cookies. I don't have enough. And if I try to give two cookies to four people, two people will get a cookie and two people will not have a cookie. So how can I divide the two cookies so that everybody gets the same amount. Maybe so. Let's try it this way. What if I divide the cookies in half? How many halves are in four, or sorry, two cookies? Four halves. So each person gets one half. Could I have divided the two cookies differently? Absolutely. I could have divided them into fourths, but it would have been more sharing because the parts would have been smaller. But absolutely, I could have definitely divided those two cookies into fourths. Okay, let's take a look at the problem on page 29 of your workspace workbook. So we still have four people, but this time we have six cookies. How do you share six cookies with four 
people. Everybody gets one whole cookie. Now I'm left with two cookies. How do you share two cookies with four people? Because at this point, everybody has one cookie. But I still have two cookies that I need to share with those four people. Good job. I can cut those two cookies in half. And now I have four halves. So each person can get an extra piece on top of the whole cookie that they received. So each person will have one whole cookie and a half of a cookie. Each person will get one and a half cookies. You guys are doing really good with this lesson. Could I have shared those last two cookies differently? Absolutely. I could have broken them into fourths. Um, each person would have gotten two fourths. They would have gotten a fourth out of here and one fourth out of here. So they would have gotten two fourths. They would have one whole cookie and two fourth size pieces of a cookie. Okay. Let's continue to work with sharing cookies. Now let's not lose the focus of the concept. The concept is about finding ways to evenly divide using fraction circles. We know that when we are sharing cookies in this example, and we have enough to give everybody one, everybody gets one, one whole that is. But when we have leftover cookies, we have to break those cookies into equal sized parts so that we can share evenly with everyone. So let's say we have eight people. And we're going to practice sharing one cookie with eight people. Mm -hmm. I hope that's a big cookie. So let's pretend we have a key lime cookie. Key lime pie is delicious if you've never tried it. It's a key lime pie cookie. And we only have one of them, but we need to share with eight people. We have to find ways to divide this cookie so that we can share it evenly with eight people. Let's fold it in half. Will folding it in half give us enough parts to share with eight people? Let's count our parts. One, two. I can only share this with two people. Let's take the half and fold that in half. and open it back up. How many parts do I have now? One, two, three, four. I have more than two, but not enough to share with eight people. I can share with four people. Let's take the fourth and fold it in half and open it back up. How many parts do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do I have enough parts to equally share this cookie with eight people? Yes, I do. So let me draw an illustration of what we did. First, we folded the cookie in half. And then, we folded the halves in half. 
we came up with fourths. And then I folded each fourth in half, creating eight equal size parts. So if I take a whole, one whole cookie, and I share it with eight people, each person gets one eighth of that whole. And you guys should be writing this down. Each person gets one eighth. Of a cookie. Now. How would eight people share three cookies? Well, I would have to take each cookie and divide it into eight parts. So instead of just getting one eighth from one cookie, each person will get one eighth from three cookies. So they will get one eighth three times. So right now, each person only has one eighth. If I was to take three cookies and share it with eight people, Each person would get three eighths cookies. Well, what if I have four cookies or six cookies? How do you share four cookies with eight people? Let's take a look at that. How do you share four cookies? with eight people. What if I just took each cookie and broke it in half? How many halves do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I'm sharing four cookies, with eight people, I don't really have to break each cookie into, into eight parts. I can just break each cookie in half. And each person gets half of a cookie. Do they have a whole cookie? No, they do not. They only have half of a cookie. So let's review before we do six cookies being shared with eight people. If I'm sharing one cookie with eight people, I can take that one cookie and break it into eight parts and each person will get one eighth of a cookie. If I'm sharing three cookies 
with eight people. I can break those three cookies up into eight parts and everybody gets three eighths of a cookie. But if I have four cookies that I'm sharing with eight people, I can break each of those cookies in half and everyone gets one half of a cookie. What if I am sharing six cookies with eight people? Six cookies with eight people. I know if I take four of those cookies and I break them in half, everybody will get half of a cookie. But then I'll have two more cookies that I need to share with everyone. So what if I broke each cookie into fourths? How much of a cookie will everyone get? Well, let's take a look at how many parts would I have if I broke the six cookies into fourths. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I have 24 parts. Now let's go back and look at how I would write that as a fraction. Well, I have six cookies. Each cookie is broken into four parts, four equal size parts. The denominator tells me how many parts my whole has been broken into. This whole has been broken into four parts. So I have 24 one fourth size parts. I have 24 fourths. So how do you take 24 fourths and share it evenly with eight people? Well, I know if I take a look at just two cookies, I have how many fourths is in one cookie? Four fourths. How many fourths is in two cookies? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two cookies have eight fourth size pieces. So just using these two cookies right here, I can give everyone one fourth. I can give everybody another one fourth using the other two cookies because here I have eight fourths. I have eight people. I can give, give everybody a one fourth size piece with two cookies. So how many fourths does everyone have so far? How many fourths of a cookie? Everyone has two fourths of a cookie. And last but not least, I have two cookies left, each broken into four parts, giving me eight fourths. I'm gonna take these eight one fourth size pieces and share it again with everyone. That one is a little messed up.
So at this point, how many one fourth size pieces does everyone get? Three. Excellent. And let's recap. How many whole pizzas were we sharing here? One, two, three, four, five, six. We had six whole, did I say pizzas? Cookies, sorry, I'm hungry. We were sharing six cookies. How many people were we sharing those six cookies with? Eight. If we have six cookies and we're sharing it with eight people, do we have enough cookies, sorry if I'm going back and forth between cookies and pizza, to share with everyone? No, we don't because we only have six cookies. We have eight people, six cookies, not enough. So we have to break these cookies into smaller pieces so that we can share. We chose to break them up into fourths. We got four pieces out of this one, four pieces out of this one, four, 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 four. We then realize that we have 24 pieces now, 24 fourths. Can I take 24 fourths and share it with eight people? Of course I can. How many pieces or how many fourths did everyone get? Did each person get? Each person gets three fourths cookies. Okay, you guys have been doing wonderful. You are going to continue this lesson by working in your workspace book on page 31 through 33. I want you guys to take a look at how many cookies you're starting out with and how many people you're sharing those cookies with. <clears throat> Whenever you get problems where you have the same number of people that you're sharing and the same number of cookies, such as four people, four cookies, um, such as eight people, eight cookies, or six people, six cookies, you know that at that point you can give everybody one cookie. But when you end up with less cookies than people, such as four people, but only three cookies, you know that those cookies have to be broken into equal sized parts in order for you to share. You also need to keep in mind that when you get more cookies than people, such as six cookies, four people, you have more cookies than people here. You know that you have enough cookies to give everybody one, but you will have some leftover cookies. Although there will be some leftover, there will not be enough to give everybody a second cookie. So you'll have to take those leftover cookies and evenly divide them so that everyone can get the same amount. And at that point, people will have a whole cookie and some extra. Now you're moving into your mixed numbers. Boys and girls, I also want you guys to take the time to make yourself a fraction circle. I am going to cut this up and hopefully we will use it in the next video. And I'm going to label it as each part as one A. Thank you guys for taking time out of your busy schedule to learn with me. I want you to keep working and doing your best. When in doubt, fraction circles out. And if you don't have any fraction circles, when in doubt, draw it out. You guys are the best in the universe. Thank you and have a good one. Oh,